Well, a cruise ship had to return early to South Florida after passengers and crew members complained of a stomach bug. It's now docked at Port Everglades. That's where Local 10 News reporter Syra Anwar is live with an update to all of this. Syra. Well, you guys, the good news here is that this was not coronavirus. You can actually hear an announcement right now. They're actually talking to that sanitation crew. They are scrubbing down this ship. This was norovirus, which we've covered a few times happening on these cruise ships, but this did cut a vacation short for the people aboard this ship. We were told because it was an outbreak of norovirus. The second time this month, a cruise trip cut short, porting in Fort Lauderdale after passengers and crew got sick. During their 14-day sail on Caribbean Princess, at least 228 passengers and 17 crew members are suffering from a stomach bug. Passengers say they, along with ship staff, started taking precautionary health measures. In the buffet, they wouldn't let us serve ourselves. They, the, the um, crew members, they serve your plate for you. I've never washed my hands so many times in my life. <laughs> the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention sent a vessel sanitation program investigation team to deep clean the ship and try to figure out how so many people got sick. The cruise ship had a similar situation a few weeks ago where more than 400 people got sick. Even though the passengers didn't get their full trip, they tell us they're satisfied with their time on board. It's we only a, one day, so it's no big deal. We had a wonderful cruise, yeah. a great bunch of people. So again, that sanitation team is still here scrubbing down this ship. You can still hear the announcement. They're kind of doing a roll call of all of the crews that are here. This uh, ship is expected to set sail again later this weekend with a new set of travelers on board. That's the latest from Port Everglades. Cyra Onward, Local 10 News.